Welcome to the tutorial on printing from a Mac to Google Cloud Print. Start by clicking the App Store button. From the App Store, click in the search bar at the top and type in Cloud Printer, then hit Enter. From here you'll see a bunch of different cloud printers. Make sure you choose the one that looks like this. When you click on it, it'll take you to a page where you can download the application. So click on 199, then click on Buy App, enter your Apple ID and password, and then it may also ask for a credit card number if you do not have one associated with your account. Click on Install. Next, click on the link on the right-hand side to access the developer's web page. If you don't see the link or are having problems, you can go to this address at the top here, www.webabode.com slash software slash cloudprint.html. The next thing you'll need to do is download this print proxy distribution dot sign dot package. So click on it and you'll notice a pop up on the bottom. Click on that. Once you've clicked the option on the left hand side, click through the pop up. So we'll click continue. We'll click continue again. You'll get another pop up saying that if you continue installing the software, you must agree to the terms of the software license agreement. So click on agree. Click on install. It may ask for your Mac username and password. Put that in and click Install Software. It'll run for a minute, and then we'll inform you when it's been installed successfully. Click on Close. Then you can close out of the internet, and then we're going to go to our applications. You can get to that by going to Finder or however you usually access your applications. From Applications, you should see the Cloud Printer that's been installed. Click on Cloud Printer. It will inform you that you need to install something from the website, which we just did, so click Never Mind. Put in your case email address and click Next. Put in your Case Western Reserve University ID and password and click Login. It will bring up this screen, scroll down to the bottom, and click on Allow. So now we've installed our Google Cloud printers. Let's test it out and see if it works. So we're going to close out of here by clicking Cloud Printer on the top left corner and choosing Quit Cloud Printer. We're just going to open up a random PDF file. You can open whatever you want, whether it be a Word document, a website, an email, anything you want. From here, we're going to click on File and Print. It'll ask us where we want to print to. We'll make sure it's set to Google Cloud Printer. Choose how many copies we want and click Print. It brings up the screen we just saw before. And we can choose one of the Google Cloud printers, whether it be Release Now Computer Lab, Release Now First Floor. We're going to choose Release Now Computer Lab. You'll notice there's little tabs on the side if you choose printer settings. You can change the amount of copies, whether it's double-sided, and what type of paper you're printing to. Once we're all done, we're going to click Submit Job to Printer. And now your document's available for pickup at whichever printer you printed to. If you have any further questions, don't hesitate to contact the Help Desk. Start by clicking the App Store button. From the App Store, 